The Leonor Diagnostic Hospital is located just a few feet from the sea defense on the west coast of Demerara, making it susceptible to flooding as a result of frequent overtopping from the Atlantic Ocean. In 2017, almost the entire single flat hospital was shut down due to flooding and all services were removed to a health center at Den Amstel, leading to an assessment of the facility and a decision to retrofit it into a smart hospital. President Irfan Ali said the healthcare facility will offer more services and make life easier for persons in the community. All the hospitals will see upgrade and improvement within the next few years. All the facilities will see tremendous transformation. And what is this transformation aimed at? It is aimed at decentralizing healthcare service. Decentralizing to the extent that we empower the local and regional authority to do more in the management of the facilities also. It is about building capacity. It is about reaching the unreached. The president was on Thursday afternoon addressing those gathered outside the facility to mark the commencement of upgrade works at the hospital. The completion of the Leonor facility is set for November 22, 2021. The other hospitals to be improved are the Diamond Diagnostic Center, where rehabilitation works are almost complete, the Lethem Hospital in Region 9, Paramakatoi in Region 8 and Mabruma in Region 1. Health Minister Dr. Frank Anthony disclosed that over 80 other health facilities were assessed for upgrades. He assured that all of the improved facilities will offer more services, even as the government is working to rid the health sector of drug shortages. We will see our infrastructure being drastically improved from what it is now. In addition to that, we want to expand services. And with the existing service that we have, to ensure that we are getting better quality of service. The project is funded by the United Kingdom under a 43 million euros program in the Caribbean. Acting British High Commissioner Tagana Ray Davidson in his remarks noted that while the venture is a costly one, the potential to save lives cannot be overstated. Now, climate change means that more and more the Caribbean is being impacted by natural disasters, such as unseasonal storms and rising sea levels. At such times of crisis, it is absolutely critical that we have a functioning and appropriate health facility to treat the sick and injured in a timely manner. Now, although not climate related, COVID-19 further highlights the importance of our need for a robust health service. PAHO WHO is providing technical assistance to complete the project. The facilities will be equipped with sound roof and foundation, improved security and signage, security equipment and fuel storage, backup power, disability access, good drainage, reduced downtime, reduced operating cost, improved emergency care, pollution reduction and several other upgrades. BB Katoon, Newsroom.